Okay, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon. Last time we went to Melee Garden. Battle Hell. Well, technically that happened last time, but you guys did not see the episode. Because apparently I did not have enough space in my... I ran out of space in storage. So the episode... Did, the Well, the I ran out of space in storage, so the video did not save. Because I was out of space. So it didn't say because I was out of space. So you're going to just have one episode that's missing. But basically all that happened was I battled Hal. Hal killed my Jolteon. I went to Melee Garden. Caught a uh, Petalil. I battled trainers in there. I battled trainers there. And that's all. Basically, all that really happened that was important was how killed my Jolteon. And I added Charger Bug. That's all you missed. You didn't really miss that much stuff. It wasn't really that big of a deal. It wasn't that big of a deal, so yeah. I can get my hair done, and I could buy some new clothes. Oh, there's also this place. It's like some type of gym? Yeah, it's like some type of gym. I really don't know. What are these two up to? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> it was that Pokeball that they gave me. That Pokeball. I forgot I had that. We're going to head to this library with Lily, but first I'm going to actually go back and do something. I want to head here and do something real quick. And then we will head to the library with Lily and take care of all of that. I want to come here and thank you, I need to charge my 3DS. Let me go over to the charger.
I'm going to go over to the charger. Okay. Let me. Okay, draw plug it up. Okay, come back again. I will do that. Come back tomorrow. I would do that off screen tomorrow. I would do that tomorrow before I start recording. Now let's Now let's go meet with Lily. And I cleaned out my storage, so I should have space for this video. I was just trying to read. I just wanted to know what this said. Okay, fly. What? I can't help you with that. I don't have one, so. If I had one, I would do that. I'm probably gonna do all these quests, like, uh, once I beat the game. Once I'm done with this Nuzlocke challenge. I would do all the quests. We got him pretty far in the game so far. I don't feel like reading that because I'm pretty sure it's the same story from Sun and Moon.
I remember in Sun and Moon, it was a totem Vicky ball. But I'm pretty sure it's changed. I'm pretty sure it's been changed. I, I'm pretty sure. I can catch something here. I could catch something here. But first I'm gonna battle this guy. I'm gonna battle him and then I will get my encounter. You evolve at the power plant. That's where you evolve. Charge Bug evolves it at the power plant on this island. Which is not that far away. Okay. I can catch something now. And there's an item over here. I saw it. I... Okay. Grimer. I got a name for you. I, I already have a name for you. Pudding. Putting the Grimer. Black. So, okay. Defense is decent. Having a defensive Pokemon is good. Let's see. How about this one?
I could battle these two janitors or whatever you want to call whatever they're called. The janitor and his son. I c with the grimer and the mug. I could battle those guys, but I think I do them battle them some other time. I battle them some other time. Roto Hatches. Do I want something from the tree or the grass? Well, it looks like it's the tree. Don't I have a Spiro? Yeah, I caught a Spiro. That species. Let me switch. You should be able to run away. That is species. This has an ice type move. I think. I went for Bubble Bear. We're good. That's who. Um, Bubble Beam shouldn't kill us. At this range, it shouldn't be a kill us. Okay. Now let's catch something in the grass. The only option I could get from the tree is Skarmory because I had a Spiro. But I traded it for Halucha. I, my encounter was a Spiro and then I... There was this person trading Spiro for Halucha and I wanted the Halucha so I traded my Spiro for it. But Spiro still counts as already. That's dupes and species because I have a ratata. A ratata, 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 ratata. Please let me run. I think I had no idea you could catch pine cone here.
that is definitely new. And Charge Bug caught, Bug learned X Scissor. I just cut to the point when I found that encounter because it was taking a little while to find something I can catch. So I just cut to the point to where I got one. Let's give you a name. Um, I think I'm actually going to end off the episode pretty soon. One more battle and then I'm ending off. Let's name you. Let's name you Piney. Piney the Pineco. Piney the Pineco. Let's check your summary. Nice and neutral. Not good, not bad. Send you to the box. Let's get these berries. But yeah, I think there will be one more trainer battle and then I'm going to end off. I may do more than, I may do two more trainer battles. It depends on how long it takes. Nineteen minutes in, which means we have six minutes left. I could count this as static if I want to. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and count it as a static encounter. I'm going to count it as static. I, it will evolve once we get the top view, top view village. It evolves in top view village. Because I heard they changed it to Tapu Village, actually. Uh, let's just name you after some type of spider. How about we name you after the Kahuna Hala? Kahuna Hala has a crop rowler, so why not? <laughs> I don't feel like checking out your summary. I will check it out when I go to the PC. Like, a static encounter, if you haven't heard of static encounters before, or if you're new to the... Or if you're new to my channel and this is your first time seeing me play Nuzlocke. Like, static encounters are like encounters that are forced or... They're meant to, for you have to encounter them. Or they're meant to happen. Like, a static encounter is the picky pack on Route 1. You always encounter a picky pack. No matter what, your first encounter is always a picky pack. That's because it's a static encounter is a scripted encounter, or you have to fight them to continue on. Like, for instance, you can't pick the berries unless you knock out or catch crop rower. You won't be able to pick berries unless you knock it out or catch it. That's what makes it a for that's what makes it a force encounter. Or it's scripted. It's an encounter that must happen because it was written in as it was a scripted encounter. Like X and Y. The Snorlax is a scripted encounter. You wake up the Snorlax, it always will attack you. Every time you wake it up, it will attack you. Because it's scripted. Therefore, it's a static encounter. 
Yeah, that's a, what a static encounter is if you never heard of it before. One minute left, and then this episode's ending. But yeah, before I end off, I'm going to do the same. I, I'm going to, you, you know what I mean. Apparently, I cannot talk today. Apparently, I cannot talk today. But if you enjoy this video, leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, and you want to get daily notifications of when I upload videos, you want daily notifications of when I upload a video, feel free to subscribe and join the Espeon Kingdom. And also, don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. I know I didn't say what the question of the day was in the video, but there will be a question of the day. You will see it when I pit it. When I upload this video, the question of the day will be listed, so yeah. Just in case you're new to the channel you didn't know that, there's always a question of the day for every video. Sometimes I would say it in the video, and sometimes I forget to even say it. So I just put it. I will just put it in the video when I upload. There's a thing that shows what the question of the day is. So yeah, I'm actually going to end off right now. But yeah, I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. i see you guys next time for another episode of the Pokemon Moon Nutslot.